All right, guys, final mock draft before the real thing. We have a little Kansas City vibe going on. Dale, you are first. Uh, you're on the clock with the number one overall pick by the Carolina Panthers. Well, I don't think there's a whole lot of intrigue here. I believe that Bryce Young, the quarterback from Alabama, is going to be the pick there. Uh, the Panthers moved up for a reason to get their quarterback. It seems like they've uh, kind of zeroed in on Young. That's the pick. All right, Matt, you're up next. I think there is intrigue here. I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that Houston goes back-to-back -back quarterbacks. And I'm going with Will Anderson from Alabama. D'Amico Ryans is a new head coach. He's a defensive-minded guy from Alabama. I think Anderson's the defensive building block for those guys. Trev, you're on the clock with the Cardinals. Okay, he threw me a little curveball there. Uh, <laughs> if I'm Arizona and I don't have Will Anderson, I'm going to take Jalen Carter okay. of Georgia and build my defense. All right, Dale, back to you with the Colts. Well, that makes things easy for me with the Colts because with uh, C.J. Stroud there, uh, I think they would be ecstatic to, uh, to get the quarterback there. And uh, Stroud's my number two ranked guy. That's an easy pick. Yeah, no doubt. Matt, next up, the Seahawks. Yeah, the Seahawks were hoping Jalen Carter fell to them, but they're going to stay on defense, grab Tyree Wilson, the edge pass rusher. Triv, the Lions, up next. A couple options here for the Lions. Uh, they're also picking... Uh, down at 18, but uh, knowing, uh, at least thinking I know how Dan Campbell thinks, I think he's a defensive guy. I think they need some cornerback help. And I personally think Devin Weatherspoon of Illinois is the best cornerback, so that's the guy. All right. All right, Dale, the Raiders. Well, I'm going to go cornerback here as well, um, but I'm going to go Christian Gonzalez, who's number one on my board at the cornerback position. Um, I just think that that's a, uh, a position in need for them. They could use a lot of things on defense, but uh, in that division, playing with the, against the quarterbacks that they play against, they need cornerback help. Matt, what do you see the Falcons doing? They go a lot of directions. I mean, it's been a very heavy defensive offseason, but they have a young quarterback and they're a big time running team. I think B. John Robinson comes off the board here. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, Trev, you got to follow that up for the Bears. I do. Uh, I've been mocking uh, Peter Skaronsky from Northwestern to Chicago pretty regularly at that spot. Uh, I'm not sure if he's a guard or a tackle, but I think he's pretty good at either. And. Uh, Bears need a little help up front, so I'm going to go with uh, Skaronsky. The Bears don't have to go very far to bring in their number one pick. He's in the neighborhood. They do not. They do not. Dale, you're up next with the Eagles. Well, that you know, the Eagles are an interesting team in this draft because they sounds like you wanted Skaronsky. Uh, well, you know, that would have been nice there. Um, I'm going to pivot though a little bit without with Skaronsky off the board. I'm going to take Paris Johnson here for the Eagles. They like to build with the in those trenches. Uh, Lane Johnson. Going into year his 33-year-old uh, year here at right tackle, I think they can uh, take Paris Johnson here and prep him for the future. All right, Matt, the Titans. Yeah, the uh, the offensive line run is going to continue here with Tennessee. I'm going with Broderick Jones, offensive tackle from Georgia for Tennessee. Okay, Trev, the Texans once again. And uh, Matt, if I'm remembering this correctly, you did not pick a quarterback. Correct. Uh, they have, with, uh, the they have Will Anderson on the board. Or on the, so we've had just two of those water, off right. the board at this point. Yes. Uh, we got a third, Anthony Richardson. And uh, maybe he doesn't start right away, but uh, for a, a building organization, too good to pass up there. Okay. The Packers are up next, Dale. The Green Bay Packers, with that, you know, the, this is going to be an interesting draft for them. Obviously, the last uh, two years, they've now <laughs> traded Devontae Adams. They've traded. Aaron Rodgers here um, could go a lot of different ways, uh, but I think they go for a cornerback here. I'm taking Joey Porter Jr. here for the Packers. All right. All right, next up we have the Patriots. New England has not had a lot of success drafting wide receivers, but that doesn't mean they should stop now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with uh, Jackson Smith and the Jigba, who could be their leading receiver right off the bat. All right, Triv, the Jets are up next. I think the Jets need some uh, O-line help as well. Let's go, uh, I, I think they definitely need uh, O-line help given what they have uh, recently acquired elsewhere. Might so, be a good idea to protect that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take uh, Darnell Wright from Tennessee. Might be uh, a little ambitious for him, but uh, I think it's a good fit for the team. You know, the, the offensive line picks are never sexy in a draft, but they those guys always go. They just always oh, yeah. do. Next up on the clock, Washington Commanders, Dale. Wow, uh, the Commanders are not happy that all the cornerbacks have gone here and the, the, uh, the offensive linemen. Um, I'm gonna go a little crazy here. They're taking Dalton Kincaid here. 
Okay. Uh, the tight end out of uh, Utah. They could use another weapon there. The tight end position has been a problem one for them. Uh, Kincaid, I think, fills some needs for them. All right, Matt, no pressure. Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I'm really torn between Brian Branch, safety slot from Alabama, and the defensive tackle, Brian Brise from Clemson. I'm going to go with Branch. The more I watch him, I just think he's a tremendous overall football player. Couldn't agree more. And if I'm the Detroit Lions, I'm a little upset that you made that. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the Lions going to do then? Uh, they're going to pivot because that's what you have to do in a draft, right? Things happen that uh, you have to react to. Uh, I'm going to take a, another little bit of a reach. Uh, at least some people will perceive it as a reach. But one of my favorite guys in this whole process has been Darnell Washington, tight end out of Georgia. I think uh, he's already a blocking machine. I, I think he hasn't even scratched the surface of what he can do as an offensive player. And uh, the coach in Detroit's an ex-tight end, right? I do believe so. He's an ankle biter, too. I think he might appreciate a big, <laughs> tough guy tight end. So uh, uh, Darnell Washington uh, from Georgia goes to Detroit. Okay, Dale, Tampa Bay. Well, we've only had three quarterbacks taken. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers they just had a quarterback retire. Heard of him, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take Will Levis here, uh, the quarterback from Kentucky. I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would be ecstatic if that happened. All right, Matt, Seattle again on the clock. Yeah, Seattle was about to grab Levis there as a successor. <laughs> so we're going to pivot. <laughs> I, I Lots of pivoting. <laughs> I mentioned Brian Brise for the Steelers. Uh, Seattle already has an edge rusher. Now they're going to get a defensive tackle from Clemson, Brise. All right, Trev, the Chargers. The Chargers. Let me, uh, let me update my list here quickly. Uh, you don't want to trade, do you? Uh, no, actually. Baltimore. <laughs> uh, Chargers, I think, uh, need a receiver. And uh, we've already seen uh, just the one go off the board so far. Is that correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jake, but yeah. All right. Um, I really like uh, two other guys at that position, uh, both Jordan Addison and Zay Flowers. I think uh, Addison being on the West Coast uh, with the USC his last year will uh, have a little more of uh, the Chargers attention. So uh, Jordan Addison comes off going to the Chargers. All right, Baltimore Ravens. Well, I could go cornerback here for the Ravens uh, and keep Deontay Banks in state. I can also go wide receiver and take the aforementioned Zay Flowers. Um, I think I'm going to go Zay Flowers here and go wide receiver. All right, next up we have the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, Dale, you just mentioned Banks and Coach Flores is now the Vikings defensive coordinator. A lot of man coverage. They're going with the big corner, Banks. All right, next up, Triv, we have Jacksonville. Jacksonville, uh, I think, is in need of uh, defensive help here. And unless I haven't uh, kept my list correctly, Lucas Van Ness is still on the board. Yeah, he mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> come Take on down. <laughs> All right, Dale, next up you have the Giants. Yeah, the Giants are, are an interesting team this year. I think they really need, uh, you know, after surprisingly making the playoffs last year, they could really need you some help on the interior offensive line. Um, but I think it, they might lean more towards a guy who can also play center. I'm going Joe Tipman here, the center from uh, Wisconsin. Uh, he could be a center, he could be a guard, could possibly kick out the right tackle. You pretty too. much anything he wants. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and, and so I think that's a, a good solid pick for them. Okay, Matt, Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys lost their starting tight end in free agency. So I'm going with Michael Mayer from Notre Dame as kind of a two-way blocker, middle of the field guy for Dak Prescott. All right, Triv, you have to follow that up for the Buffalo Bills. I do. And, um, this one almost seems too easy, but I'm not going to overthink it. Uh, big loss in free agency at uh, inside linebacker, off the ball linebacker, if you will. And uh, there's a guy that uh, I really like who is uh, still on the board there. Uh, Are you playing the Big Ten? Uh, no, did, did Sanders get picked yet? He did no, not. Sanders is no. so up. Oh, oh, okay. Sanders yeah. got picked now. Drew, okay. San Drew, Sanders. Drew Sanders, Arkansas by way of roll tide. <laughs> All right, we have the Cincinnati Bengals up next on the clock. You know, the Bengals uh, aren't really, they don't have any glaring needs, and there's one guy sitting here that uh, shouldn't still be available at this point, and that's Nolan Smith, no. uh, the linebacker out of Georgia. I don't know that it's a pressing need for the Bengals, but you just take the best player available here. Which, uh, which position is he playing in Cincinnati? Could play edge, could play on the interior, it doesn't really matter. It. Yeah. All right, we're getting to the end, but next we have the Saints. Saints defensive tackle room is really lean right now, so they're going to uh, go to the Pitt Panthers here and grab Kalijah Kansi. All right, Triv, next up we have the Philadelphia Eagles. 
You know, uh, my inclination here um, is to take a lineman. But uh, I'm going to go off the board. Uh, I, I think the Eagles uh, need a little help at running back. And uh, the, the perceived best one, Robinson's off the board. But uh, Jameer Gibbs from Alabama is not. And uh, I, I think the Eagles value the pass as much as they do the run. Uh, and I think he can help them in uh, both of those areas. So uh, yeah. maybe a little bit of a, a reach again. But uh, I'm targeting guys I like uh, as I take on these team identities, not necessarily what everybody thinks of them. All right. So we're rolling. And last but not least, uh, in terms of the first round, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, you know, uh, the fans in Kansas City are going to have to wait all night to eat their barbecue. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to have a, a pick here for them. And I'm going offensive tackle here for them. I'm going Anton Harrison out of Oklahoma. Uh, he actually fits what they do pretty well. I think he's a little bit better a pass blocker than run blocker. That's fine for them. I think he fits right in. All right, guys, it's uh, time to grub. I know you've been waiting to eat your ribs. Yeah, it's been tempting. <laughs>